when the Civil War officers would die, they would take them and put them back, the, back behind the cotton gin. That's where the dead soldiers would get ready to get loaded up onto uh, the train, and they would get shipped back off to where their home base was. Jeez, that kind of <laughs> freaky, that though. Cold. You see Joanna move, she's like, I'm like, what was that? Get out. I need to find the key. Out of here. Yes. So we didn't. You didn't take it. So it's been this whole. What's going on, paranormal people? Today we are going to go investigate. Back in Montgomery, the same place where we investigated last time on my last video, I'm going to go ahead and put the link up here. So go ahead and click on it if you haven't watched it. And if you have, watch it again. Give us a like if you didn't last time. But we're going to be investigating the Phil's Roadhouse restaurant. If you watched the video from our previous uh, investigation, Miles told us that the field behind the restaurant is where they brought the uh, dead bodies of the Confederate soldiers to get them ready for transport. And from what we hear, there are some strange things going on in that field. But since I've been driving, trying to get out of Houston during rush hour, it's horrible. So before I make my way to Montgomery, I made a quick pit stop on my way up there in Magnolia. We're going to this brewery. Looks pretty cool. I can't wait, but for now, let's go enjoy a quick beer before the sun goes down so we can head out to Montgomery and let's just let's have a good time. Let's do this. Good little break. I love this brewery. Y'all need to come by and check it out sometime. I just realized that right down the street is a place that we investigated before. I'm gonna provide that link down below. It's an old, one of the old road trip flashbacks. So you're gonna have to check it out, which is good because now I get to come back and revisit the old place and I get to hit this brewery up again, which is really cool. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Man, that was good. The beer was good. The fries was really good. So I'm looking forward to coming back here, doing this again. It's an awesome brewery. Man, the beer was excellent. Enjoyed it, especially in this cool weather. A nice dark stout had a little spiciness to it. Really good. You guys need to hit this brewery up whenever you're here in Magnolia. So I'm coming back, but in the meantime, time to head out to Montgomery. Let's go do this investigation. Let's go meet up with the uh, Texas Ghost Gals and see what we can capture tonight. So let's do it. Well, I'm here at Phil's Roadhouse restaurant. Now, obviously it's a work-in restaurant, so there's people inside. Uh, it's much too early to investigate, but uh, I wanted to come over here and check out the field behind the restaurant. Now, if you recall from our previous video, Miles was saying, Back behind the cotton gin. That's where the dead soldiers would get ready to get loaded up onto uh, the train. And I want to go check it out, and I want you to come along with me. I, I don't see exactly where it could be, but hey, let's walk around a bit.
Now the field behind the uh, restaurant's actually kind of small. There's not much to it. It's got to be a little further out, but for now, this is what I see that is actually behind the restaurant. It's probably leads to somebody's private property, so best not to go down there. So. Well, the field behind the restaurant's actually, uh, there's not much to it. It's really small. It goes further down behind this uh, tree line here, behind these bushes. I guess we can go take a look at it really quick, but I am not really seeing anything uh, substantial here. But yeah, let's keep looking. We'll walk around a bit and see what we can find. Hopefully it's not private property or anything. Eh, I don't think I'm gonna go too much further. It's overgrown here and uh, it is a field, but uh, interesting, interesting. Well, I look forward to actually investigating in the restaurant. Let's see what happens. Alright everybody, so we're here at the restaurant while we're waiting for them to close down and, and uh, kick everybody out. Uh, we're, we might go out and uh, investigate this uh, cemetery around here, just go and explore. So yeah, the, the Texas Ghost Gals joined me. I'm here with uh, Heather and Joanna and Juan, the muscle, so I feel good. <laughs> Exploring a cemetery in the middle of the night. We got two cemeteries. We got two cemeteries to explore. So we got a little time to kill. So we're gonna go check out these cemeteries. So yeah, let's see what we can capture. See you guys there. Let's do it. Well, we're here in the cemetery. We're gonna walk around the beautiful cemetery, regardless if we capture anything. So, uh, so let's do this. Let's check it out. Here we go. In oh, that is weird. You guys can see this. How strange this is. This is just weird. I don't know. around a cemetery two cemeteries for a bit now it's time to go back to the uh, restaurant but if they're still not ready to set up maybe we can just go walk their field that, that building yeah, she was talking about let's go back there so we have there. we have a uh, the um, options here the barn and the um, hanging tree so let's let's do this we'll see you guys back over there here we go Hey, tell us about the barn. Um, the cotton gin is what we call it. The cotton gin. Uh, I don't really know. I just know that people have taken like prom pictures or engagement photos, and they say that they see like a tall man with a big, tall black hat. Okay. Um, they don't really see his face. It's kind of long, and then like a bow tie, like kind of a suit, almost like a burial suit, okay. but back then. Mm. And they say he's really tall, but they see this shadow when they take pictures there.
other people say that they've seen things like i said that building back there has been a hair salon a bar um a pool hall it's been all kinds of things an it's insurance it's about price. 70 years old yeah or more okay. we just know that the railroad ran through that field all the way to the back of this building mm -hmm. and you, there's like a gully we kind of walk over it now okay but you can see the railroad ties and okay. stuff still oh, cool. i just there's something there you can i can sense it i don't know what it is but whatever it is it's not good i can tell you that okay I don't do it this is where the old railroad is. Okay. So I don't really do this at night. But you can see the railroad. Ready? Oh, yeah. And it goes down in this gully. Oh, wow. So, but we walk here to get to the other side. Watch to the right. That is just too cool. Very, very cool. In the gully. Oh, my God, that's so cool. So you, yeah, you can still see the old railroad ties that were here. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty neat. And then I'll show y'all around the front of the building, all the old railroad ties, the spikes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the old railroad ties. Wow. We've taken some of the spikes out. They were the old uh, square heads. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So How cool. <laughs> this is a Jason mask? Yes. It is. Oh yeah. That is funny. <laughs> evening it is November 1st 2019 and we are in an old building that um, is owned by Phil's Roadhouse family and I'm sure Phil's been out here too a lot he probably was when he was alive and supposedly this building's been many things what is it it's been a, a bar shop, a beauty shop a barn a, a she said a pool hall pool hall Honky tonk bar in the back, and now it's just kind of full of the energies and all kind of from football pads to stripper poles to to dog poop to, <laughs> to anything and everything you can imagine. So there's all kind of energies in this building. So we just want to take a minute and see if if there is anybody here in this building. And if so, if you would like to reach out to any of us that are here, we would like to say hi. We're not here to harm you. We're not here to take anything. We just want to see if, if, if you are here and if you'd like to communicate with us. So I'll ask again, is there anybody here with us this evening? If so, make a noise for us. I keep feeling like something's touching my hair. It's probably a spider or something. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, look at my thing anything. going off. Look. When I say that, you see it? Look at see. Oh, yeah, you got a little. Something was touching me, my hair. I don't know what it was. Like they were just playing with it, just pulling a few pieces. That's weird. There was something, I thought it was to the left of us, but I was trying to figure it out. It wasn't caught on any of the recordings. Yeah. 
to the left. What What do you mean my over left. here? My left. Oh, okay. Like over, like over here by me? Yeah, behind you, towards that other room. I thought I heard something. Yeah? You're not recording over there, are you? No. That had nothing on uh, any of my instruments at all. Yeah, it's like Temperature quiet. Still steady like at super quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. Isn't it? Yeah. Anything on the flare? Nothing. Spots, spots. Everything looks pretty, pretty normal. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Temperature steady at 60. Well, we can ask one more time, see if we can get anything. This is Heather again. We're going to give you one more chance to reach out to us before we leave. And go over to the restaurant. So is there anybody here with us? If so, what is your name? Do you want to tell us something? What do you want to say? There it goes again. What did you, did you hear it, see it? it heard just, it. The little tap. Like yeah, I heard it. Yeah, like a, a tap. tap yep. That was the first actual sound we heard. Hi, this is Heather again. I'm going to give you one more chance to reach out to us before we leave and go over to the restaurant. So is there anybody here with us? What do you want to say? Uh -huh, I heard the tap. The tap, yeah. Did you hear the interference? When yeah, like a, yeah, like, uh -huh. yeah. The, sounds like a it's a critter yeah yeah it's a critter it's probably what you heard jeez that kind of <laughs> freaky that though cold when we were man when well, we were you see joanna move she's like i was like what was that but it stopped probably heard our voice Damn. yeah it's a critter that's a critter jeez that's freaky the one that's shitting in yeah, I know. yeah it's probably it's the shitter where did i yeah. put the key hold on uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. It was in my pants. Oh well. Oh shit. Hang on, let me think. Where was I? Oh my god, yeah. is that. That critter really wants to get the fuck in here. We need to get out. I need to find the key. Hell. You didn't put it in your pocket? I don't have a pocket. Oh. I put it in my pants right here. Oh no. It sure didn't fall in here. You've been walking around everywhere. I but, but yeah, but I had it in my hand when I said my there's something. Yeah, in so you had it here. Yes. So we didn't you didn't take it. No, so it's been this whole. Go what was your name? Adriana. Adriana. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the mornings I came in early when I, when with another lady. All days we came in at night. I like to put the coffee on the morning. And I'm all, all the mornings I match and she stay on the kitchen. And I come in, I come in and map the, the, at the way station okay. and then down the stairs and then up the stairs and then the back. Mm -hmm. And I start to map in and put my coffee. And then I go to map down the stairs, and when I come back to change the water, I see footprints, footprints by the restroom, and my skin is like. Oh, the goosebumps! <laughs> and I run into the kitchen and I said, Juanita, you go to the restroom, and she say, No, I stay here. And I said, No, somebody goes to the bathroom, and when we walk in. All the coffee uh -huh. is on the floor, uh -uh. and she walk into the restroom, and the footprints is on the floor. Wow! Fresh, fresh. So the other day, before that, I came in and turned on all lights, mm -hmm. and when I go, I turn it on the light the men's restroom, and I turn around to turn it on the light the ladies, mm -hmm. the lights the men's. Wow. And, and that's I where say, the lights turn off the most. I men's restroom, wow. And, and I say, maybe I forgot, and I turn it on the ladies, uh -huh. and when I turn it on, and when I turn it around to turn it on the other lights, the ladies <laughs>
The story goes that there's a little boy here. So we don't know like the age, but when my stepmom and a guy named Arturo used to work here for a long time, the office used to be different. That wasn't it. It was like a giant flower shop. Okay. So there was an old black and white screen that was in there and we still had cameras. Well, they were in there, she was checking out, doing something, and Arturo looked up at the camera and he's, he was telling her, oh my God, there's a little boy, somebody forgot their kid. She's like, what? So they rewound it and there was a little boy that ran through the bathroom. Wow. She's like, oh my God. So they got up, they ran in here, they were hollering, looking for him, nothing. Didn't find anything. They went back, played the camera back. He was a little boy wearing a hat, like um, an old railroad hat, okay. and a little bow tie, and the little suits with the shorts. No way. Yeah. They said, okay, it was a ghost. So ever since then, everybody thinks it's a little boy. Maria that works here, she used to see him in the back. We have a big, like, bread rack stand. Okay. And he used to sit up there and dangle his feet and watch her. What? And then one of the girls were putting down the chairs one day. She was standing here and out of the corner of her eye, she saw a guy leaning against the corner. And he was just doing this, watching her. And you heard her scream. And I was in the back, came running up. I was like, oh my God, what happened, what happened? And she's like, did you see him, did you see him? Who? And she's like, there's a guy standing there, it was a kid, like a teenage boy. Oh my God. And I went around, said I didn't see anybody. She refused to come back this way. She's like, I, I'm not doing it. So, like, plastic knives have fallen inside the weight station off the salad bar. Cups will fall over randomly on top of people. Um, chairs downstairs, they put them all up like this, and all of a sudden they'll be all down the floor. You'll just hear this loud boom. Wow. You'll go into the bathroom. Um, I went in one night, I closed, checked everything, so I know everything like this. It's clean, everything's done. Walked into the bathroom, there was business cards all over the bathroom floor and toilet paper. Most stuff seems to happen like around there. Yeah. Yeah, but it's stuff like a kid would do. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's not anything harmful. It's not anything, it's just you playful. know. Right. Mischievous. Mischievous. Yeah, thing. yeah. Like last night when all the lights were off, you could feel something like downstairs. Okay. So does it scare you? You scared? <laughs> Part that's the old rail car. The old rail car. From yep. here to the female bathroom is the rail car. And this is where they like to see the little boy where they see him kind of running back and forth. I think he's the one that's flipping on, on and off the lights. So she, she says she came in here, flipped them on, and she walked out and they were turned off. footsteps but were they there before yeah like that might have been me and Joanna when we came into the restroom I don't know that's Heather and that's Gabriel we're just here to say hello now we'd like for you to say hello back can you do that like, like a dark from in, in there. Mm -hmm. While we were talking. That was weird. Like I can't even say, you you know, you'd think like something running across it, but yeah. that's not a very long distance to run. So it's just like kind of uh -huh. really quick. Mm -hmm. Sounded like a rim pod. Yeah, I got the camera recording on it.
I could have swore it sounded like. Did you hear it? Yeah. I could have swore it. Other, like, oh, I pointed to the left. It's away from the refrigerator and all that. And, uh, yeah. Oh, no. It would have gone off already. Yeah. Stuck over there. Yeah. Or it'd be constantly going off if it was. Let's see what goes off again. Let's see. That was crazy. If you're the little boy that's haunting this place, you know we come as friends. You don't have to be scared of us or anything. We'd really like to just communicate with you. We're all parents here, so you're safe. Can you show us that you're here? I heard that. I heard that. That sounded like a... Is that like a little boy? Mm-hmm. said, yeah. Oh, no way. If that was you, using one of these devices to communicate, can you do it again? The little boy that's in this building is here. Say, here! If the little boy is here with us, say hello! They said yes too. That sounds like a little boy. Hello. If that's you trying to communicate, keep doing it. Tell us what your name is. We were asked to come here to try to talk to you. They want you to communicate to us. If you can tell us something, we can pass that message on to Marissa and everybody who works here. Can I make it out? Yeah, I don't know what that. That was a word, but I can make it out. Yeah. The strange thing is, is that it keeps sounding like a little boy. They're asking you to say hello in the corner. Can you say hello through this device? I heard something again. Yeah, I don't know what that was. We got the same kid on the portal. Oh. On, the, <laughs> on the portal. Oh, really? About three times saying hello and hey. And it was a little boy's voice, but we couldn't get him to say his name. You, you know what's really crazy? Is that with the same box we heard uh, it sounded like a little boy right around the same time when we were saying, Can you say hi? Wow. I said hi. And then I heard you in the back saying, Say hi again, or, you know. Uh -huh. So it's like maybe at this, at, what a coincidence that at the exact same time on both devices. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Did y'all just hear that? What? Is that you? Did you hear it? It was like a bang. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. That way. That way? Yeah, I didn't hear anything, to be honest with you. They both said they heard it. I, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, the door's locked. The thing is, neither one of us heard it. I didn't hear anything. She felt the vibration on her. Really? Yeah. Well, the camera's still rolling over there, so that's so nothing, that's good. Nothing, nothing over there? Nothing. We both heard it. Yeah, we didn't hear it. Yeah, we didn't hear it. Well, that was interesting. Again, I'm not really big on the spirit boxes. It's really difficult to prove that they're not radio stations. But I gotta admit, that was pretty interesting. Really coincidental. 
sounded like a little boy. Um, but take it with a grain of salt. Uh, you decide. What do you think it is? Still pretty interesting. Still pretty coincidental. All right, guys. Well, we're done. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Got a long drive. I want to thank the Texas Ghost Gals and the Muscle Juan. Man, I've never felt safer doing an investigation and having a cop here. I can't even see him. He's sitting in the dark. <laughs> but I hope we did, we get to do this again. Absolutely. It was fun. Yeah. And uh, thank you for I, Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Glad to have you guys. Seriously, yes. I'm. I'm Thank you for coming. Awesome. Thank you to Marissa and everybody here. Yes. And uh, the lady that told us the stories, what was her name? I can't remember. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot, but oh. thank all you guys. This was yeah, fun. Come to this place. The food here is great. The stories, the haunted stories, the ghost stories, it, it's the Civil War stories. It's awesome. It's worth coming here. So good night, guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, do all that stuff. Later, guys. What is going on, paranormal people? So check this out. This is what we missed the first time. So I decided to come back. This is a railroad trussels. This is the, the, the wooden, the, the Civil War railroad track, original trussels, goes over the gully. This is what, even though you could probably see it on the footage, I wanted to come back and take some daylight shot because this, is awesome look I got my hand on history this is amazing this is just really really cool and this is where dead Confederate soldiers were being loaded up on the train and being sent off to wherever they were going uh, getting sent off to check this out the gullies over here this is awesome This is this alone here makes the trip worthwhile. You know, it was a really quiet night. Not a lot of stuff happened, but this right here, just to come back and see this, and knowing that this is part of Civil War history that I can actually walk on and touch and see is amazing. But going back to the point of not a lot happened here that night. It was a pretty quiet night. It's going to lead me to a really, really good lesson and something good to talk about, guys. Join us. All right, everybody. This is the follow-up uh, video of the investigation here at Phil's Roadhouse. We're actually sitting at the Phil's Roadhouse bar having a beer. Uh, we went out there, shot video of the old... Uh, railroad trusses and it's just amazing way too cool amazing so I'm gonna touch on what I just mentioned while we were out there on a couple of lessons learned for actually there's gonna be three first never leave a camera behind that's one of the reasons why I came back is because I left the camera here uh, during an investigation rookie mistake I know I get it if I hear comments uh, you know whatever second lesson is that uh, not every investigation is going to have uh, activity. Not a lot happened that night, no. but that's what you got to expect. We're, we're picking one night out of the year to come and investigate, and we can't expect spirits to just be sitting around waiting to put on a show. Uh, regardless of what a lot of YouTube channel videos seem to put out there, like every single time they go out somewhere, something happens, poltergeist this, demon that, but reality is that it doesn't happen that way. It, it just doesn't. This, right. this is what you can probably expect when you come and visit Phil's Roadhouse, and which I highly recommend you guys do, so. which leads me to lesson three, and that's respect. Now, it's awesome. Old Civil War Railroad Trust. Oh my gosh, that's freaking yeah, that's awesome. Crazy. And guys, yeah, that house that they have out there is probably haunted. I don't know. We didn't experience much that night. Get some permission to go out there. 
don't sneak out here. Don't take that chance. It is private property, yeah, but they are cool. They will let you uh, come out there and explore, but don't be stupid and come out in the middle of the night and, and you'll trespass. Be surprised. You'll be surprised of how open they are and how friendly they are. And uh, you get that permission. Talking yeah. to them, because you'll never know what it will lead to. You'll find new stuff. Not only will you might get permission, sometimes you might get turned down, but that's the nature of the beast. Yeah. Oh well, I'd rather get turned down than get a ticket, go to jail or some, or, or, get, or get shot. <laughs> I'd recommend coming out here. The food is great here at Phil's Roadhouse. The people are awesome. Uh, the history is amazing, obviously. Yes, definitely. The beer is cold and good. Very Cheers. Cool. So, guys, when you get a chance, do yourself a favor. Come out here to Phil's Roadhouse. Get permission to go explore. Uh, we had a great time exploring the cemeteries. You guys can do the same. This doesn't have to be at night. Come during the day. You know, just to be close to that, that history, it's amazing. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like, all that, subscribe. So we'll see you on the next one. And Rodney's going to be there. Take care, guys. See you on the road. Peace. So much for that.